Brandon Sherrill a week from Monday. Jussie Smollett is scheduled to be arraigned again here at the Layton Courthouse. Tonight, his legal team is accusing the special prosecutor of playing politics. Tonight, the former Empire actor preparing to reprise his role as defendant. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb appointed to the case in August, announcing a six-count grand jury indictment alleging Jesse Smollett filed four false police reports, saying further prosecution is in the interest of justice. It's a disorderly conduct. It's a class four felony. Uh, people are charged every single day with filing false police reports, and they end up going on their very merry ways. But the case anything but ordinary. Smollett last year claiming he was the victim of a racist and homophobic attack in Streeterville, later determined by police and a grand jury to be a hoax, carried out with the help of the Osindero brothers. Charges later dropped by state's attorney Kim Fox's office in exchange for community service, a move Fox said was not unusual. Our office uses alternative prosecution in many cases similar to that case. But Webb says Fox's office has provided no evidence of similarly handled cases, though Webb has not accused the office of wrongdoing. Fox's supporters asking, why now, five weeks before the primary? We find it rather peculiar, rather, yeah. peculiar. rather strange, yeah. and rather interesting yeah. that yeah. this is coming out at this moment. Yeah. The charges were appropriately dismissed the first time because they were not supported by the evidence. The attempt to re-prosecute Mr. Smollett one year later on the eve of the Cook County State's Attorney election is clearly all about politics, not justice. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office releasing a short and somewhat neutral statement saying, quote, the special prosecutor reviewed the facts, the evidence and law and determined charges were appropriate in this matter. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.